meet me in the castle. Oh my god. You can get to the yeah, castle long time no see, isn't it? It has been one month, exactly one month, since I last did one of these. Well, over the past few weeks, I've been having microphone troubles and what have you. Also, I've had lots of coursework to catch up on. But thankfully, we've broken up now. So, no, I'm not dead. And no, I haven't given up on this channel. I would like to apologise to everyone. One person I'd really like to apologise to is Super Saiyan Goku12567. So sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, by the way. He had his birthday a couple of weeks ago, so happy belated birthday to you. I will post a happy belated birthday video up later. Um, you're watching me play Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, or Sorcerer's Stone in the US, on PS1, aka the first Harry Potter game I ever owned, along with the Game Boy Color version. These, like, two of my favourite games as well. Um, before I announce the Let's Play updates, quick announcement. Voices from the Dark sent me a message saying that Logic4D had closed his channel, but he had created a new one called Isanchu. However, when I typed the name Isanchu into the search bar, nothing came up, but I found out that a couple of days ago, he closed his channel yet again and created a third channel called XMWZ, so go subscribe to his new channel if you haven't already and thanks again Voices from the Dark for telling me about this also Aiden Boy 6 has had his channel deleted due to copyrights and stuff he has two new channels which are Ocean Z Studios Dub and Aiden Boy 6 Productions he said that he would be using Aiden Boy 6 Productions for Let's Plays but by all means, guys, please subscribe to both of his new channels. I'm really, really sorry to hear what happened with your channel, Boy 6 Okay, as for Let's Play updates, I'm very sorry if I miss any out. I've just had a lot to catch up on, as it's been like four weeks, no, a month, correcting myself, sorry, a month since I last did one of these announcements. We haven't had any new members since last time, so we're still on 14 members but we're always accepting more just send me a message or leave a comment saying you'd like to join also give your age, birthday and favourite Harry Potter character because if you didn't already know we celebrate birthdays here okay let's play updates first of all films and things 997 has done his first Harry Potter let's play which is Prisoner of Azkaban on Xbox and that currently has 11 parts to it although I can't seem to find part 9 anywhere I don't know what's up with that he also said on his channel that he will be doing Chamber of Secrets and Lego Harry Potter years 1 to 4 I don't know what consoles they will be on because he didn't say but anyway keep, out, keep a watch out for them Liz and Eric series have updated their let's play of Lego Harry Potter years 1 to 4 on Nintendo Wii we are now on year 3 aka Prisoner of Azkaban era and we are now on part 26 also I would just randomly like to announce that they've done let's plays for the first Ratchet and Clank game plus the first two Sly Cooper or Sly Raccoon as it's sometimes known like over here in the UK and um, the first two Sly Raccoon games and I'm a huge fan of both series just randomly wanted to say moving on our newest member Mad as Moody has updated his let's play for All of the Phoenix on PS2 and that now has 17 parts to it so go check it out and I've said it before and I'll say it again your background is simply awesome Project Darkshine has completed her let's play of Lego Harry Potter years 1 to 4 on Xbox 360 that has 37 parts to it in all Stiffser again sorry if I say your name wrong he's added one more part to his let's play of um, Prisoner of Azkaban on PC sorry we're currently on part 4 Crychex has added two more parts to his Let's Play of Chamber of Secrets on PC. It now has 13 parts 
And it's coming near the end, so keep a look out for the next part of that. I was just on his channel just now, and it says he aims to do all of the Harry Potter games on PC before Deathly Hallows Part 2 comes out. Come on, Crychex, you can do it. I can't believe it's going to be less than two months before Deathly Hallows Part 2 comes out. Ten years of Harry Potter films and, of course, video games. I just can't believe it. I was ten years old when I saw the very first Harry Potter movie and played the very first game. This very game I'm playing now, I was ten years old when I first played it. Oh, oh yeah, I failed this bit here. I had to start again. All because I was waiting for a cauldron and it didn't come, which is really annoying. Sorry to show you guys me failing a little mini game. Anyway, back to Let's Play updates. Super Seduke has a new Let's Play, which is for Philosopher's Stone on PC, and that has nine parts to it. And I also just wanted to say that Super Seduke currently holds the record for the maximum number of Harry Potter Let's Plays that a member has. He has done a whopping nine Harry Potter Let's Plays. Is that cool or what? Liz and Eric series are in second place with seven and in third place is Project Dark Shine with five. Just so you know this isn't a race to see how many Let's Plays you can do by the way. It's just a new random thing I came up with announcing the top three members with the most let's plays and once we have 25 members it'll be the top five members and when we have 50 it'll be the top 10 i don't know if we'll get 50 members but i really hope so i really want to get 50 members by christmas long way away so please advertise this channel to anyone you know who plays harry potter games i notice there's a few people who've linked to this channel on their channel i really just can't thank you enough also, you might notice that some Let's Play playlists don't have title cards or playlist covers, whatever you want to call them. I am working on those, so please be patient if you don't have one yet. I will get to them. And also, if you would like the link to a video of a title card, just send me a message and I'll give you a link to it. In other news, you might already know that Mr. BV256 has created a similar channel to this one only for Formula One racing games so if you like Formula One racing games please go right ahead and join it's called the Almighty Two that's all with two L's and two spelled T-W-O like the number it now has ten members and quite a lot of Let's Play playlists well, well, and also two today. news updates so far which is basically doing the same things as I'm doing right now. Sorry, just gonna catch my breath. Shut up, Draco. Just ignore him for now, just collect all the beans. Yeah, we need to take these yellow beans back to Fred and George. And they give you a password for the portrait. And you get a prize, as you'll see in a minute. Just a little recap because I haven't played this game in god knows how long it's been years probably um, moving on I've got a little update thingy something new for the channel but when I do these news updates as you can see I'm playing the game in the background well sometimes I just can't decide which game to play so I want you, so I want you to tell me look in the description it should tell you which Harry Potter games I own and I would really, really appreciate if you told me what game you'd like to see on next week's announcement. I might use the level in this game, Philosopher's Stone on PS4, and just to recap, where you have to chase after Peeves to get your presents back. I love that part of the game, so please let me know what you think. Shall I use that level or a different game? Please let me know. Yeah, just picking up the last yellow beams here. Well, technically, I'm finished with this news announcement. But I've got a couple of minutes left on it. Hello, Snape. As you can see, we can't get past him until we retrieve the slow frame, which is a bit later on in the game. Just ignore him for now. Go back to Fred and George. 
Uh, I think I'll let you just watch me play the rest of this bit. I'm just going to go back to Fred and George, collect my prize, and yeah. Okay, that's it for this news announcement. I shall see you next week for We Play Harry Potter News 5. Until then, see ya. And I'll leave you with the last couple of minutes of this um, game. News announcement, background, game. Yeah, I'll leave you with Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on PS1. See you next Friday. Thanks for the earwax flavour beans. The password for the portrait of the old posh baron is Fizzy Pop. Hope you find the portrait. It'll be worth it. See you around. That's the correct password. Let's see if I can get these old hinges working. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa.